Hello everyone, it's Prajul Patek this side and I'm watching my YouTube channel PyGuru. Friends, today in this tutorial we are going to learn how can we create buttons in PyGame. Okay, so let's get started. Currently here I have a basic setup for a window in PyGame. Okay, uh, if I just run this script, I will get a empty window like this. What I want is I want to create buttons on this window. Okay? Like uh, often we have game uh, buttons in games like to play the game, to quit the game, to turn on or off the sound or go to home or to replay the game okay like these things so i want to create a mechanism by which i can implement those buttons so for buttons i have few images here in the folder where i am working currently so see uh, this is the image for home button this is off button on button then this is a play button then sound on and sound off buttons these are okay what i want is i want to implement them or implement these images as a buttons in my game okay so each button has different functionalities and we'll be implementing those things so one more thing you will get the source code for this program in the video description so just go there and copy paste if you want okay let's see how can we build the buttons using pygame for this i'm going to use class here so class and my class name will be button okay this part i'm not explaining because i have already uh, we have, I, we have already learned about these things in the previous my game tutorials so i am not explaining these things back i'm only i will only be focusing on the buttons here so pygame dot sprite dot sprite this is a inbuilt class available to us okay pygame dot sprite dot sprite we can inherit from it and for, inside it we have a init function this init function will take uh, four arguments first the image which we want to show as the button then the scale suppose you want to if you want to resize the button you can pass a scale here and the x and the y position this x and y position is where the button will be displayed on the screen so after uh, the init method we have to initialize our super class so button you can initialize a super class like this self dot int like this okay uh, the next thing is we can just uh, create or keep a copy of our image so self dot image equals img self dot scale equals scale okay self dot x and y uh, equals x or y however so let's just leave it okay now we know that every image in pygame has a rect so what we want is we want to get the rect of this image okay one more thing we, what we can do is we can resize our image so you can do it something like this after loading the image uh, we can just uh, transform it so pygame or dot transform here we are just scaling it or resizing it pygame dot transform dot scale we have this method to scale the image so here the first thing it takes is the image so self dot image and then the scale so we can pass self dot scale or like this okay the next thing is we are just going to get the rectangle out of it self dot rect equals self dot image dot get rect now i have used buttons quite locked in my previous games and i will also be using them in the upcoming tutorials that's why i'm making a separate video here okay so self dot rec dot x now we are just going to uh, set the position of our button so self dot rec dot y equals y now again this is the entire setup for loading the button okay now what we want is uh, we haven't implemented the click part yet we are just loading the image here now how it will it will work we will load an image outside this class then we will pass that image to this class this image will be loaded in a variable called self dot image and will pass few extra arguments like a scale x and y positions so we'll uh, just uh, take the scale here uh, save it to a self dot scale variable and resize our original image to the given scale okay this self uh, uh, this scale will be a tuple uh, of the new width and height then we are just getting the rectangle of this image so cell dot rect equals cell dot image dot get rect and then we are setting the position of this rectangle to the x and y that user has given while constructing or creating an object of this class the next part is uh, we are going to create a method called draw it takes few uh, an argument called window this window will be the uh, this window or this argument is the place where where we will be displaying our image okay so we can simply do it like this win dot blit self dot image and self dot rect what this will do is this will display our image here so let's just try to load one image here currently i'm just going to load my home image okay the image that we had 
होम यू कैन ऑल्सो पास आई एम जी हियर इफ यू वॉन्ट ओके सो होम इक्वल्स आई एम डॉट इमेज डॉट लोड एंड माई इमेज नेम इज होम बटन डॉट पी एन जी सो आई एम जस्ट लोडिंग इट नाउ आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू मेक अ बटन होम बटन एंड यू कैन क्रिएट अ बटन लाइक दिस यू टू क्रिएट एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द बटन क्लास देन पास द इमेज लाइक दिस ओके एंड देन यू टू पास द स्केल द विथ एंड द हाइट सो यू कैन पास इट लाइक दिस एंड देन माई आई वॉन्ट टू डिस इट एट ट्वेंटी फोर पिक्सल्स बाई ट्वेंटी फोर पिक्सल्स ओके एंड देन यू टू पास द एक्स एंड वाई पोजिशन सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू सो इट एट द सेंटर ऑफ माई इमेज सो फॉर स्क्रीन सो आई कैन सिंपली पास विथ बाई टू एंड हाइट बाई टू ओके Now here I have already variables here a width equal to 88 pixels and height equals 512 pixels. Okay, you can just pass any pixel value here and it will set up accordingly. Now uh, we have to just display it so we can display our image like this or button like this. Home button dot draw and here you have to pass the window argument that you created. This window is our uh, window name. Okay, you can call it screen if you want. This is our window name. So we are passing this window here. Now, if I just run this game, I should be getting the home button here. See, I am getting the home button, but on clicking it, nothing is happening. Okay, so I have to fix, uh, or you can also do it something like this. Uh, if I just make it hundred, so I have this home button here, and now suppose I want to load one more image, replay image. So I can just uh, create load a new image here, replay. Uh, sorry. Replay and here we have to load the replay button dot png. Okay. Uh, the next thing is uh, we want to create a button, so we can create a button like this. Replay button equals uh, this extra entire thing. Copy it and paste it here. And let's just not pass minus hundred here. And then all we have to do is we have to call the replay button dot draw. So replay button dot draw and pass the window here. So it looks good. Okay. So this time we'll be getting two things. So here two homes because we are passing the home image also in the replay uh, button. But if I change the button uh, image here, replay uh, replay will be shown here. Okay. So it looks good. Uh, also you can modify the scale here. You can pass thirty six by thirty six if you want or any value that you want. Now. Uh, I want to implement the touch part to it. Implement uh, to click the part. Currently, if you click on the button, nothing will happen. So I want to do something by which we can click on the image or the button. So for this, we'll be creating variable self dot clicked uh, equals false. Currently, our button is not clicked, and then we'll make a variable here action equals false. Now we'll try to get the current position of our mouse. Position equals pi game. Oops, sorry. So pi game. Okay. Dot mouse. Dot get position. The, we have a method by which we can get the current position of our mouse. Now, if you if we uh, we, now we will check if this position of the mouse collides with the rectangle of the image, or we will check if we are on hovering over the button. Okay. So we can do it like this. If self dot rect dot collide point. Like this, and here we have to pass the position of the mouse. Okay. Then what we want to do is, uh, we want to make our action equals true. So, okay, one more thing. Here we will check if the but if the self dot click variable is false, then only we are doing it. Okay. So and not self dot clicked. Okay. So how this works? See how this works. If we Uh, left click on the button, then this should work. Okay, so here we are checking if the value of self dot clicked variable is false, then only this will this action variable will become true. Okay, and then also we want to make our self dot clicked variable true, so we can just make it like this: self dot click equals true. Okay. Now uh, the next thing is uh, currently we are just checking with the collision. So if If I just print, uh, let's say, yes. Okay. Currently, we are not checking for the left click. We are just checking if we are hovering over the button. So, if I just run this once and hover over the button, you will see, yes, it's printing. Yes. Okay. So, yes, it's printing. Yes, but it's not printing on the click. 
so you have to check if user is clicking on the button okay so you can do it like this if pygame dot mouse dot uh, get pressed okay so this is a tuple and it has three values for the left click right click and the middle um, left uh, left click middle click and right click so it has three values currently we are fetching the first value from it okay that is the zero uh, value if it's true if it uh, if its value is true it contains boolean values okay so if it's true it means uh, we are clicking the left uh, button and we can put this click thing inside this uh, if condition instead of the first if condition okay so if it's uh, doing then we can uh, make it like this okay so if i just again run this you will see if i just go over over it it's not working yet but if i click on it then it's print here but if i again click on it it will not work because our self dot click variable has become true so uh, we have to check uh, we have to make it back to false then only it will work so what we can do is we can just copy this line if we if we are clicking on the left button then uh, this self dot click variable will become true and when we remove our hands or when we unclick uh, this should become false so self dot click will become false okay and then finally what we can do is we can return this value of the action variable uh, instead of printing the yes we can just return it the action variable return action so this is the uh, code for button clicks so here now if you want to use it we have to use if conditions here okay because we are returning some value uh, we can check if we are clicking on the home button if home button dot draw win then we can print true here or print yes or do anything that we want similarly if replay button dot draw win then we can print yes or no whatever you want to do you can implement okay for example if i want to uh, stop or close my window if i am uh, clicking on the replay button i can just make my running variables true it is responsible for my infinite while loop uh, false sorry if i if i just make this running variable false my infinite while loop will break and our game will end so if i click over here my game will end okay so this part is fine this is how the button works or this is the code for the buttons but i want to implement one more part see there are few buttons which we want to toggle toggle okay for here the sound is off and if I, if i click on it it should get on so i want to implement something like this again it's very easy all that we have to do is we have to implement one more method here def update image we have this method it will take a variable img now what we will do is what we will do is self dot image equals pygame dot uh, transform dot scale and here we will pass the img and scale it with the self dot scale okay so what we are doing we are just changing the self dot image variable with the new image that we are passing so now let's say create few more buttons or load first of all let's load the images currently uh on equals uh, let, let me just copy this line and paste it here uh here my uh sound on button okay so this is the image for my sound on button similarly we will be having a sound of image okay so sound of it should be off i guess okay so it should work now let's create a sound button and here we will just pass the create an object of it so let's create the object we will resize it 24 by 24 here to align it let's just subtract some value from it and here we will just add some value to it okay i'm just changing the x and y positions nothing else so you can check for if sound button dot draw okay so let's just check for if sound button dot draw print yes like this if i just run it you will see uh here the the image is in changing okay so we have to change the image uh currently i i am supposing my sound is on okay 
the sound on let us just make the sound on okay so currently sound is on what i want is if i click on it sound should get off so for this how can we toggle it we can uh, it's very easy we are just going to keep a check here sound on currently it's on so i'm just making this variable true okay so if we click on the sound button we have to just make the sound on button sound on variable false so instead of making it manually false we are just going to use the not operator on it so what this will do is if our sound on variable is true it will become false otherwise if it's false it will become true automatically okay we don't have to do anything the only thing is left is that we have to just update the image of our button okay so if sound is on then what we will do we will just update our image sound button dot update image we have this method that we have just created and we will pass the new image here that is on okay else if the sound button is on sound is off then we have to just update the image again so we just paste it here off and that will do it if i just run this this should work yes so see it's working uh no it's not working okay it's my fault here we have to make sound on okay so if i click on it this should toggle between on and off so yes it's working now okay if i just click on it it's just turning on and off so it's working fine yes so it's working fine now for another example let's try to use this image so for here again i'm just going to change the image that is this is on dot png and off dot png so let's just change the names on dot png and off dot png okay and let's create a button uh, one more button here okay let me just comment these lines button and button class then we have to pass the image currently let's say it's off okay on clicking it we want to turn it on then i want to resize it so 700 by 70 should do the job then position will be 100 by 2 minus let's say 100 and then height by 2 h e i g h sorry my balls height by 2 this would do the job now instead of sound on we can just check is on we have a variable here which will check if our current picture is on or off let's say it's currently off okay so currently it's off and here we just have to check uh, instead of sound on we have to check what is on that's all okay so is on like this okay so it's it will do the job and here we have to just uh, make it as on and we have to change the button name and this will be the end of it this tutorial so if i just run this it should work okay uh, there's one more false uh, error i will get so let's make it button okay so we have changed its name button if i just turn it on or just run this game it should work uh, still we have some issue home button is not defined uh, we don't have these two buttons so let's just uh, comment it yes so it's working okay it's working if i just click on it it's working so this is how you can create buttons in pi game okay so again this entire code will be available on github you can just go there and copy paste it along with this images or icons again if you want more icons you can just search for online button icons uh, png files okay so this is it for this video guys if you love this video leave a like or a dislike if you're new to my channel subscribe it thank you see you in the next tutorial